Several mass production manufacturing operations moving material around the shop floor, well that's a vital part of productivity. But what if the material you need to move is heavy, and I mean heavy. I'm with Josh Clower, he's Sales Director of Eastern U.S. for Mobile Industrial Robots. Uh, Josh, we're standing next to a mobile industrial robot and I'm looking at a mass there. We're talking about over a ton of weight. Tell me about it. Absolutely. So our latest offering in our fleet of autonomous mobile robots is the Mir 1000. It can move up to 2,200 pounds, 1,000 kilograms, uh, and it, it is offered here today with a pallet lift on top. So we, we envision the marketplace will need to move pallets because everything ends up on a pallet to go in or out of the facility. Um, so we offer it with this lift so that it can be ready to go for that sort of application. Now, uh, historically, uh, early AGV technology was very constrained. We had cables embedded in the floor, essentially, and, and many users were found they had to remodel their operations to suit their automation instead of the other way around. Yes, sl SLAM technology, a mapping algorithm that allows us to look at the room with the laser scanners, has allows us to go infrastructure list. You, you no longer need to follow magnets or tape on the ground. You can look at the environment with laser scanners and understand where you are in space with those laser scanner with that laser scanner data. So you relate that to your gyroscopes and encoders and understand where you are in space with zero infrastructure around you. Now in this case, if, if I'm using, for example, a Gaylord full of auto parts inside the thing, uh, chances are probably 100% that there are people around this thing. What do I do with people swirling and moving around this? Absolutely. We also use those laser scanners to ensure safety. So we, we can look at that data and actually avoid obstacles in real time. But if you do happen to jump in front of it or go too close to it too quickly, there is a, an e-stop curtain around the robot that will automatically stop the robot. Now, in this case, uh, the example we're looking at here is relatively simple racking that is holding the pallet up, and it simply lifts it up, uh, like a simple lifting system. Is uh, Do you require any special fixturing or ways to hold the pallet or, or the load to pick it up and put it down? Um, all, all we're actually looking at is the sides of the profiles of the rack to understand where it is, and you just need some specific geometry there, and then we can dock to it with some precision so that we know that we're in place before we lift up and grab the pallet. And we can actually utilize the cameras on the front of the robot to look to see if there's a pallet there or not there so that we can remain safe and know that whether, whether there's a pallet on top of the rack or not, or, and that way when we drop it off, we know that we're not going to drop a pallet off on something that already has a pallet on top of a rack. Well, that's uh, funny. That, that's a critical edge case we see frequently in that case. Uh, the machine goes to pick something up which isn't there, but doesn't know it isn't there. But then it goes to put something down in a place where there is something there, whether it's an existing pallet or not another person down there. Address that. Absolutely. So we use the sensory data on board to see whether or not there's a pallet there. But ultimately, we're an open tool for transport, so we make it really easy to communicate to our system to pull in different sensory data to take in inputs and make decisions based on those inputts. Uh, Josh, what industries do you expect to be early adopters of a system with this much capability? Right, so automotive is one of the first movers for this technology because they've utilized AGVs in the past and understand the pain of infra the infrastructure that they have to, to do. So they change products every year, right? They're bringing out new products and they'd have to rip up that tape. Well, now all you have to do is make a software change and you can be uh, flexible in dynamic spaces. So as your line changes, we can change with it intelligent mobile industrial robots capable of carrying ton weights. This is Josh Clower of Mobile Industrial Robots.